Okay, move this in a bit. So I'm, I've just heated up my insert gun again. So when you print off the parts for your Galileo 2, make sure you print off the standoff. Okay, so you are going to need some parts to mount the umbilical cord to the um, Galileo 2 device. So to do that, jump onto your GitHub site. So just basically go Google and then just put uh, GitHub Gal Galileo 2. Comes up with the Jared CO1 site which is where all the files are. So this is where you get your latest manual and everything, but what we're looking at doing here is uh, user mods, because in the extruder section, that's all the STLs for printing off all the components. Um, so we've done all that, and you just need to start looking at how we're gonna mount the umbilical cord, because um, it mounts to the tap just like this, or to your X carriage, if that's where you go. <clears throat> so what you need to go is user mods and then go to Hark PG7 umbilical uh, and you need to do the download each one of these three uh, STLs so basically all you need to do so this has got the bottom um, standoff so this here is a hexagonal piece and basically what you do is you insert a heat sink into each end and then you, you wind this onto the motor mounting screw at, the, at one end and then you put the other part which I'll show you in a minute, the PG7 adapter plate and screw it into there so to download that you can just go you can either download or you can right click here um, and go save link as and it will download the STL file ready for you to jump chuck into your slicer so the same with the top standoff and um, the top standoff basically it looks like this this end here this end here slots into the extruder uh, and the little plate for the STL uh, for the um, uh, PG7 umbilical cord gland um, flexi fitting um, goes at the other end. I don't know what this little piece here is for. I bolted it straight through. Um, and then you've got the, uh, don't worry about the step file, uh, that's to modify it if you need to. And here's the PG7 um, So yeah, so basically download those three files, print them off and then we can crack into the video. STL you can see that it's a little hexagonal piece there's no instructions on this so I'm just gonna I've just figured I'm just figuring it out <coughs> and then I'll um, which I think I have so what I think you need to do is put a heat sink in each end of this one there and one at the other end <coughs> and then you um, this piece here which is another piece that's I think it's the Hark um, mod. So I'll put a link to that in the description on this video on the actual mounting part. <clears throat> and then so this part here, basically this little little tongue here goes down into this groove here. So this whole thing sits in like so. And then this other piece that you print off, that's this piece. And that's the PG7 uh, adapter. <clears throat> um, and that goes, so you have a screw in here. Uh, can you, uh, not sure if you can use that screw. But I think that screw there is supposed to go, you're supposed to put a little screw in there. 
and then this bottom piece screws onto here like so and then this other part here screws through that so you just have like a little M M8 um, screw in there so that's that's why there's a 50 millimeter screw here still and then there's a couple of 30s I'm not sure whether we're going to need a 30 I don't think so I think we can get away with a, just an 8 mil one it's around somewhere okay so so for now we'll um we'll put the extruder uh, the um little heat sinks in Have a couple of goes at it so that you don't um, push too hard. But even if you have three little turns to try and get it so that it's nice and flush rather than blowing it through the other side. So we'll see how that goes. Turn this off now. So I've got my temperature set at about 250. <coughs> so that there should now screw into here, hopefully. Yep. Okay, so that's screwed down to there. This little piece, you've got the, your 50mm which will go through here. Um, I wonder if I can actually get that on directly. Oh, it goes straight through, so we'll see if it actually mates up. Oh, yeah, it does. So I think I'll just use an M8 <coughs> uh, 3mm, M3 by 8mm. So I'll just grab this one out of here. Even an M3 by 6 will be fine. <clears throat> and that sits on top of here. It goes through there like that. It screws into this here. like that oh yeah it's even got a little notch in the back of here in the back of the bonnet which is actually carved out of the uh, it's already molded so you don't even have to actually adjust anything and that just sits yep and that just that'll just bolt straight on there so that's great perfect in fact 
that's a good little setup. <clears throat> um, and then you just get your, your um, gland. Because uh, you're going to have to run your canvas down through and then loop it up because the actual on the board in the 2209 the, the canvas goes in from the top here so you'll have to basically come down from the top and then loop up over and push it in um, yeah so this part here screws into here So you, I'll actually have to unscrew this, to be honest, because the canvas has got a big massive fat plug. This will have to be threaded on all the way along through the canvas cable. But I'll, I will screw this in to get it seated and then back it out so I know it's all the way home and, and back. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you can do the basic assembly to get it ready for installing onto the machine. And you can your um, can bus board goes onto these two screws here so take that one out <clears throat> so that one there would be the one that I need for here which is I'm going to install that now so they're all, all the same looking screws but that's pretty simple and this, these two here are the ones that you put the um, can bus board on I've already got the standoff, so normally with this uh, SB, you um, see that's beautiful. Look at that. um, <clears throat> so with the SB2209, that's nice. That's actually a beautiful, nice little setup. Very tidy. Um, yeah, so with the SB2209 you've got like a little L plate that spaces it out from the board, uh, from this face. But this has already got the standoffs built into the um, system, so that's really cool. So that's ready for installation. So like I said, this here will have to come off. And then it's got to be threaded all the way along the CAN bus cable because the CAN bus cable has to be fed through the bottom of here first. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, it's a nice little setup. So I'll put this in a little video uh, and then we'll get on to the um, actual installation of the machine and stripping all the CAN bus out and all that sort of stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Christy over and out. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please comment below. If you've got any suggestions or information that you'd like to share, i um, more than happy to check it out. So smash the like, hit the subscribe, and ring the bell. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, Westy over and out.